Today I'm going to be showing you how you can make a thank you business card for free in Canva. If you don't have a Canva account, you can create one for free by going to canva.com and signing up. Once you log into your account you will come to a home page screen that looks something like this. The first thing you want to do is click on create a design in the upper right hand corner and then go down to custom size. And we are going to make our thank you card 6 by 4 inches. Make sure to change that to inches, later on I found out I should I used the size dimensions 7.1 by 5.5 inches. So, once it opens up we have a blank canvas to work with. When I first start I like to go over to the left hand side, and choose from one of these pre-made texts that Canva puts together for you because I don't know what I'm looking for. This just gives me something to start with. I do know that today I want to go with a simple and minimalistic look. I'm probably gonna do black and white. And right now I'm just looking for something that kind of stands out to me that's a little bit bold. And just from looking I like this text here. So, these pre-made texts come grouped together for you. I'm going to ungroup them. This way I can work with each text separately. Today I'm going to do a back and a front side thank you card. I think on the front, I want it to be really simple and I'm just gonna put, thank you. Next I'm going to add a page right here. I'm going to select both of these because I might still use this text for the main part on the other side of my thank you card. I kind of like this, and this is the text name in case you're wondering. It's called Play Fair Display. Now I'm going to change the text color to white and the background to black because I really wanted something bold. I love bold yet simple designs. Now I'm going to use this text and change the color to white so that you can see it. I'm going to put thank you for your purchase. I think I kind of want to add a little bit of personality. So I'm going to go over and select elements and then I'm going to look for a heart. I'm going to see all the hearts that are available now. If you're working in the free version of Canva like I am, sometimes if it has a little icon like this beside it that means it's a pro element and when you go to download your design, it's going to charge you for it. But for the purpose of this video we're just going to make sure we don't select anything with the little crown icon, so that we don't get charged. So I think this heart is kind of cute. Let's change it to white and then see what that looks like. And I'm going to just fit it right there. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna work with the front part of my card. And I'm going to keep this part. I think I'm going to keep it just black and white for now since I have this text right here. I actually like this text. I'm going to put the words thank you. And now I'm just making sure it's centered. Then I'm going to go over here, go to text. And this time I'm going to find a text that I want to use, so I just grab the text element right here. And then I'm going to actually scroll through and see what I can find. I want to say thank you for supporting a small business. This font is actually kind of hard to read. So I'm just going to look through my choices. Another thing I can do is go to the top and put script in. Now, it will show me all the different types of script fonts that are available. Hmm. 
I think this is what I'm looking for. Yes. Something like this that is a little bit more modern. Yes, there we go. Now what I want to do is say something kind of cute. So I think I'm going to go back to this text right here. The next thing I'm going to do is just right click, copy it, go down here, and paste it. And then change the color back to black. Thank you for supporting my small business. I hope you enjoy your item as much as I enjoyed creating it for you. I'll go back to this font. And put let's connect. I'm going to make it a little smaller. I just grab it in the corner. Just like that. Now I'm going to add my social media icons. Let's see if they have an icon for Etsy, and they do. If you're doing this for your Etsy shop, then you can put an Etsy shop icon, or if you're doing it for your website, then you could put a website icon. Now I'm gonna go look for an Instagram icon. Okay, here is an Instagram icon. Something I like to do is put the icons on top of each other to make sure they're the same size. And I'm actually gonna change the Etsy icon to black because I want it to look cohesive. Instead of boring you with talking I'm going to speed up the rest of this video as I finish designing. We have our front side of our thank you business card and then the back side. One thing I've been wanting to test out is ordering my thank you cards directly through Canva, so I'm going to be the guinea pig. How you would order your cards is you would go to share and select print your design. And then you would select I assume what you're going to have printed. I'm going to go back to postcard. For landscape, they give you two size options. I'm going to select the 7.1 by 5.5 inches. I think it's going to automatically resize the design for me. It's only like a $3 difference between 10 and 25 cards, so I'm gonna order the 25. I do not need envelopes. And there's free delivery, so that's cool. Okay, so I'm going to push continue, and it lets you do a final check by downloading a PDF. Let's just open that up and check and see what it looks like. And it did resize the design for me. That's good to know and I really like the way that it's looking. I'm going to go ahead and order this and then once it comes in I'm going to show you what they look the like. finally arrived from Canva and it came in this cute packaging which I am here for. So now I'm just going to take the cards out and take a look. I must say they look really nice. The material is flexible, but they are not too thin and everything looks clear to read. Overall I am happy with them and would recommend Canva printing based on the convenience. If you found this helpful, make sure to like and subscribe for more content and I'll see you in my next video.